So her aunt, Fauzia's aunt, comes over and gets the whole, all the women in the family invited to a wedding party. And there they will be doing social women's dancing, which by the way is very similar to what I teach and what many of us think of as Khaliji dancing in the thobes, women only dancing in pairs or in groups. Um, these are very wealthy people and there's a women's band there. Talk a little, about, a little bit about that. It's um, chapter five. It's called A Mare, the Color of River Stones. So I want you to listen how this family that Fauzia is in are very cosmopolitan and ex very wealthy, and yet they mix with the traditional culture. So bear with me and I will read away. Jeddah, February 1979. Aunt Rosette swept into my bedroom and kissed me on both cheeks. Come have coffee with your mama and me just for a few minutes. The studies can wait. Rosette, just rolling the R at the beginning of her name made me smile. She once took me for a ride in a rented red convertible in the hills above Beirut. Ever the fashion plate, she'd wrapped a crimson chiffon scarf around her short ebony curls and it matched the car, her lipstick, and her nails. She loved fast cars, and fortunately, so did my uncle Fuad, who had plenty of them. He used to take her out driving in the desert and let her take the wheel. Rosette never held back her startling and infectious laugh. She was always telling jokes, and she loved to dance. When they hosted parties for foreign businessmen and their wives, which they did frequently in those oil boom days, there was always dancing. She knew all the latest steps and was an expert at Egyptian dance, which she'd learned while in high school in Cairo. She taught me that particular art, insisting it was a social grace that every Arab girl should know. The three of us sat in the family room. Any progress with Itti Sam? Aunt Rosette asked. Nothing, Mama sighed. It's so discouraging. We should get her out more to meet people. In fact, that's why I came today. You and your daughters are invited to a party at Samira Saleh's house. She's celebrating the engagement of her daughter to the Amir, Prince, right? Amir Ahmad bin Majid. There will be people there from entirely new circles. Perhaps it will help expose her a bit more. What do you think? As for entirely new circles, I doubted it. Samira was a good friend of Aunt Rosette, so there probably wouldn't be any conservative ladies there who would find Ichi Sam a good choice for their sons. With marrying a prince, Samira's daughter was moving from her family's comfortable merchant class status into the royal family itself, even though this particular groom wasn't from a very powerful branch. An additional exposure for her? My sister always got lost in a crowd, and in these circles it would be worse. She never called attention to herself, never put on any makeup. Even at a ladies' party, she preferred to blend into the background. In the end, if she Sam agreed to go, so I'm sure she'd rather have been home reading or researching a paper for school. This was a formal occasion, so we bustled out of the house in long gowns of taffeta and silk, climbing into Uncle Fuad's new Rolls Royce. Like Baba, Uncle Fuad was a successful businessman, but he and Aunt Rosette tended to be more flamboyant with their wealth. We turned into the drive-up entrance at the solid, sumptuous villa and waited as each car ahead of us deposited ladies at the front door. And once we entered the villa, female servants took our abayas, which are the cloaks, and, ho and the hostesses, Samira and her daughter, welcomed us. I'm not a fashion follower myself, but they dazzled us with their glamour in matching caftans of glowing russet silk. Muna was bedecked in a stunning diamond and warm topaz jewelry ensemble, a gift from her fiancé. He had chosen well as the jewels complemented her gown and set off her gleaming dark tresses. They ushered us inside to join the throng of women in long gowns and perfect coiffures enveloped in a cloud of competing expensive perfume. The walls of the enormous salon were lined with sofas and cushioned chairs, all upholstered in peach. 